there's a tournament in the West Coast that you're going to that I can also go to, I can show up. I sound hard on myself. Yeah, it's... So the reason why I think, like, I, it sounds like I'm hard on myself is because, like, my brain knows what to do. My hands don't know. My hands don't agree with my brain. So, like, I'll say something out loud and then I'll, I'll, I'll flub it and I'll be like, damn, okay, well, I have to fix that. But then, you know, you, you want to you wanna make sure that you don't... You So the way you want to have um, correct responses when you play fighting games is... If something happens and you can say it or think it, you should be able to try to do it, right? So the more you say it or think it, you do it, and you're just like, damn, I messed this up, I'm bad. I shouldn't say I'm bad, but I should say I'm going to work on that, I'll fix that, I'll work on that. You know, try to be less self-deprecating, because it, it, it does affect your mental when you're really self-deprecating. So being so when people give you compliments, or if you say like, yeah, I did this cool thing, it helps your stability when you get in that situation, you have more confidence. Then when that situation comes up and you're like, I hope I don't fuck this up again like an idiot. So it's important to have have the ability to have confidence in yourself saying, I'll hit this. Or, oh, I didn't hit this last time. I'll hit this this time. Which is hard for a lot of people when they play fighting games because either people have too much confidence. Like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so fucking nice. I dropped my combo because of lag. Or they're too self-deprecating and they're like, oh, I'm just going to be a shit fighting game player. I'll never amount to anything. Like, you, you got to... You gotta, not you got to temper your expectations but you also have to realize where you are as a player and i feel like a lot of people don't have that um self admittance everyone wants to think they're they're either really whack or they're really strong when most sometimes a lot of people aren't whack it's just some recognition needs to go in hand hands and nerves and emotions yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> maybe i'll pick a less tight route yeah that's what I did in tournament. In tournament, I just did less harder routes, and I was like, okay, I'll be fine. It it'll, I'll do stuff that's that's suboptimal, but it guarantees me good positioning, so I can play the game at my pace. As opposed to, I'm gonna hit the sick, nasty 4K confirm that like puts all the corner carry, and people be like, damn, I didn't know you could do that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. But then you know, you drop it, and you fucking get hit by something stupid, and now you're you're mad at yourself. So it, it's important when you play fighting games to be what to be self to be really objective about how you are as a player and i feel like a lot of people aren't objective they think that it's the net play the character they're fighting is too strong uh, and their character sucks uh the other person's just a try hard shit like that so it's it's really important that you look at your own play and not demean yourself too much you say like, oh, you know, that was dumb. I'll fix this up. Or next time I'll, I'll get this. Or next time I'll practice this a little bit more. Or I'll ask how this works. You know, there's a lot of small back and forth things that you could do with yourself. <clears throat> yeah, finding consistency is really important. Like if you can find consistency, then that's strong. That's good. Especially if you're already good at uh, moving across the screen, which I feel like a lot of people aren't. You got to protect the ego. The ego is important, especially in fighting games. It's really hard. <laughs> So like, like as for me when I play fighting games, um, I'm usually the type to not pop off and be like, oh, I'm fucking nice, or I'm fucking clean. It's only when something really drastic happens and I and I'm just like, oh shit, I knew what to do here. I'm fucking my brain works, right? Some of my other friends, uh, who play games, they're just like they, they when they do something mad cool, they're like, yo, did you see that shit? That was fucking tight. And I'm just like, yeah, it was tight. Fuck, I wish I could be like that, you know, to have the confidence to be like that was tight, and they know it was the thing they were supposed to do. So, like, that brings themselves up more so they have more confidence. So, gaining more confidence when you play fighting games is hard because you have to deal with you and the other person, but then you have to assume other people are watching, and you have to hope that they're not uh, demeaning you as well, which is kind of hard because a lot of people just like to be met, uh, cruel for no reason. But, you know, you got to do the best you can. It, it's hard. It's really hard. Fighting games are hard. E every fighting game is hard in its own different way, and fighting games in general require a lot of... Minutia, fuck. What's the word that's not minutia? Small details, yeah, like small intricate details that you just like. You wanna, you wanna try to understand, but it it comes at a cost of um, maybe being lost for a while. So you'll see people who are good at fighting games, but they don't get 
the results that you want you think they should get because sometimes uh they run into a worse matchup uh their mental is not great at that time etc it's hard yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hard all right all right enough of me enough of me chatting about that let's let's watch this there's an echo arc on the screen I can't 